Get everything you need for your holiday meal at Whole Foods Market. Right now, you'll find Animal Welfare Certified Rib Roast on sale. It's a deliciously crowd-pleasing centerpiece. Plus, save on spiral sliced ham, bone-in lamb, and seasonal produce like sweet potatoes and honey crisp apples. For ready-to-eat sides, head to the prepared food section. Done. And remember that Whole Foods Market caters. Order gourmet catering at shop.wfm.com. Bring the holiday magic with Whole Foods Market. It's time to say goodbye to hold music and say hello to fast customer support with Service Cloud. With trusted AI and data working together, you can skip long wait times and deliver efficient, personalized service right away. All while keeping support costs low and more customers happy. Reimagine your customer support with the number one AI CRM for service. Learn what's possible at salesforce.com slash products slash service. This is Optimal Finance Daily, episode 2562. Am I too old for personal training? By Riley Pierce of freeformfitness.ca. And I'm your host and personal finance enthusiast, Diana Merriam. Welcome back to our Sunday bonus episode. This is where I share an article with you from another podcast in our network. And today's is coming from our health and fitness podcast, Optimal Health Daily. You can find that show wherever you're listening to this. And please do follow or subscribe to the show to get new episodes every day. And with that, here's Dr. Neil with the post and commentary as we optimize your life. Am I Too Old for Personal Training? By Riley Pierce of freeformfitness.ca. Physical fitness and overall health are important at every age and every stage of life. As humans age, however, there are significant physical changes that occur that must be taken into consideration. This is why personal training is an excellent option for seniors. In the following article, we'll cover the physical changes one can expect as they age, the benefits of exercise as a senior, and why personal training is a great option for seniors looking to improve their health. Physical changes as you age. If you are over the age of 30, your body has already started the aging process. Biologically, humans reached their peak around the age of 30. After 30, the decline of biological functions is linear. Some functions decline faster than others, but the decline is basically linear. As you age, the strength of the heart decreases, blood pressure increases, and the blood vessels get stiff. This is why cardiovascular exercise and healthy lifestyle choices that reduce the risk of cardiovascular disease are important throughout our lives. You can also expect your lung capacity to decrease, meaning you are unable to inhale as deeply and therefore receive less oxygen than you used to. Your kidneys will no longer be able to flush out creatinine as efficiently. Creatinine is a natural byproduct of our metabolism. Blood glucose also rises with age, which can lead to metabolic syndrome and may contribute to weight gain as you age. We see an increased risk of fractures and osteoporosis as the density of the bones decrease with age. And lastly, the skin becomes thinner and less elastic. These are all consequences of specific cells in the body not refreshing and reproducing as efficiently as they did before. The body's ability to absorb nutrients also begins to decline as we age, which can impact the normal functions of every system in the body. As we mentioned before, this should all result in a linear decline that happens gradually over decades. We say should be because there are a number of factors that can speed up or slow down the aging process. Regular day-to-day functions such as thinking, moving, eating, and digestion can be impacted by disorders and lifestyle choices. These include a sedentary lifestyle, eating a poor diet, smoking, excessive drinking, and environmental factors like living in a polluted area. All of these can impact the speed at which your regular functionality will decline with age. This is why making healthy choices throughout life is so important. Every healthy choice you make is like a deposit into a healthy retirement fund. The more deposits you make, the more independent and healthy you'll feel as you age. But how exactly does exercise improve your health as you age? How exercise keeps you healthy as you age. Physical activity is one of the few things you can do to restore mobility, balance, strength, and physical functionality after it's been lost. 
the Canadian Society of Exercise and Physiology recommends adults aged 65 years or older should get 150 minutes per week of physical activity in bouts of 10 minutes or more. By following these guidelines, you'll get the full benefits of physical activity. Physical activity and regular exercise have been shown to reduce mortality rates even if someone smokes and is obese. Regular exercise will keep your bones strong, your heart healthy, and your muscles strong, which all contribute to mobility, balance, and independence later in life. With greater balance, strength, and bone health, physical activity can also help reduce the risk of falls and fall-related injuries. In fact, high-intensity resistance exercise is sometimes recommended for older individuals and nursing home residents. These programs need to be monitored by a professional, of course, but the greatest improvements are often seen when the individual progressively lifts heavier and heavier weights over time. Physical activity is also an important part of recovery and rehabilitation even after a cardiovascular event like a heart attack. Regular physical activity can prevent and help manage the symptoms of diabetes, osteoporosis, and even colon cancer. Physical activity is also a great way to help prevent and treat mood disorders, such as anxiety and depression. A regular exercise routine can also be a great opportunity for social interaction and has been shown to increase one's sense of self-confidence. As long as you're participating in physical activity in a safe way, then the benefits of exercise are too good to ignore. So, what's the best way to guarantee your workouts will be safe and appropriate for you? why a personal trainer is a great option. Based on all of this information, hiring a personal trainer is a great option for seniors. The research shows that when a senior engages in regular physical activity that is monitored for safety and progressively challenges the client, they see the best results. Based on research, scheduling and consistency are commonly reported barriers among seniors. A personal trainer will work with your schedule to find times that work for you. Having an appointment to stick to increases the level of accountability, which will result in a more consistent effort. When you show up week after week, you will see improvements in your strength, energy, sleep, and day-to-day functionality. In those times when injuries happen or there are changes to medical conditions, a personal trainer is there to put in the work of figuring out how your program can be adapted to the new situation. Feeling supported and eliminating the stress of figuring it out or worrying if it is safe is a major weight off your shoulders. So to answer the question, no, you are not too old for a personal trainer. In fact, hiring a personal trainer is the best way to guarantee that you will exercise on a regular basis in a way that will challenge and improve your physical fitness and overall health. You just listened to the post titled, Am I Too Old for Personal Training? by Riley Pierce of freeformfitness.ca. Labor strikes, climate change, your beat up office printer. What do they all have in common? Come on, it's all about the money. Economics is everywhere and everything fueling our lives, even where we least expect it. If you're a fan of Optimal Finance Daily and are curious to learn something new and exciting about economics every week, I recommend you listen to the Planet Money podcast from NPR. Planet Money is a different kind of world where the complex economy actually makes sense, where human stories supersede abstract theories. For example, credit scores may sound complex, but Planet Money can give you simple tips so that you can make better financial decisions. And Planet Money also answers some of life's burning questions, like, will AI take over our jobs? And why are Christmas trees so darn expensive? The Planet Money team lives to tell a good story in around 30 minutes. It's econ for the rest of us. Tune in to Planet Money every week for entertaining stories and insights about how money shapes our world. Stories that can't be found anywhere else. Listen now to Planet Money from NPR, wherever you get your podcasts. 
Get everything you need for your holiday meal at Whole Foods Market. Right now, you'll find Animal Welfare Certified Rib Roast on sale. It's a deliciously crowd-pleasing centerpiece. Plus, save on spiral sliced ham, bone-in lamb, and seasonal produce like sweet potatoes and honey crisp apples. For ready-to-eat sides, head to the prepared food section. Done. And remember that Whole Foods Market caters. Order gourmet catering at shop.wfm.com. Bring the holiday magic with Whole Foods Market. Dr. Neil here for my commentary. Now, if you're convinced that a personal trainer is right for you, when it comes to finding the right person, there are some things you would want to consider. The first is the trainer's credentials. What personal training certifications do they have? What degrees did they receive? In the US, the most respected personal training certifications come from the American College of Sports Medicine, the American Council on Exercise, and the National Strength and Conditioning Association. Now, each of these have different levels of certification, and each certification level has different degree requirements. Some require a high school diploma, others a bachelor's degree, and still others require an advanced degree with backgrounds in anatomy and physiology and exercise science and kinesiology. So it's important that you ask any trainer you're interviewing about their specific certification, which organization granted them this certification, and any degrees they have earned. Next, ask for references. You are the trainer's potential employer. They will be providing you a service, so you have the right to ask to speak to their current and former clients. Ask them about their experience too, not only years of experience, but where they've worked and who they've worked with in the past. Make sure you both are clear about the costs involved. We don't want any hidden fees popping up. And finally, will the trainer support you and your goals? Do they even ask you about your goals? If not, and they insist you follow their program, go ahead and find someone else. There are plenty of fantastic, capable, certified trainers out there. Just be sure to spend some time finding the right one for you. All right, that'll do it for the Monday episode. I hope you have a great start to your week, and I'll be back here tomorrow as usual, where your optimal life awaits.